with this new one, we're going to learn how to animate opacity. Um, and we're also going to learn how to change the motion path of an object. So I'm going to go to composition, new composition. And this one I'm going to name my first and last name, underscore. And this one's going to be called opacity path, underscore, and then today's date. Okay. Um, this one I'm going to change back to five seconds. And um, background color doesn't matter because we're going to be importing the background. So I'm going to hit OK. Um, and then I'm going to import, double click the project panel to import two graphics. Um, one is called um, Ghost and one's called Haunted House. So I'm going to find them. Moved all my folders. There we go. So I'm looking for ghost and haunted house. And I'm going to bring those in. All right. I am going to um, click and drag the haunted house first down. So this is going to be my background. And then I'm going to click and drag my ghost down to the timeline. And we're going to animate this. So frame one, I'm going to have the ghost off uh, frame right. And I'm going to select P for position. And I'm going to hit the stopwatch to start. So it's going to start here. I'm going to go to two and a half seconds. And I want it to go to the center of the moon. And then I'm going to go to uh, five seconds. And I'm going to move it off stage left. And um, there's my first animation. OK, so I'm just changing the position of it. OK. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to animate the opacity of the ghost. So this time I'm going to select the ghost and hit, um, uh, so it's actually T for opacity. I hit O and it's, that's not going to work. Uh, so T brings up opacity. Um, so I'm going to select the stopwatch when I'm at the current time indicator of uh, the first frame. And I want to start off with 0%. So it's going to be not ex existent. Um, when it gets to the 2.5 uh, mark, I'm going to change it back to 100%. And then when we get to frame 5, I want it to disappear again. So I've changed it back down to 0%. So I'm going to select the space bar to render. So now it's coming from nowhere, and then it's disappearing again. So we're, we've not only uh, animated the position, but also the opacity of the object. Okay. The last thing I want to do is if I select the object, we're going to see this dotted line here. And this represents the path that the, that the object is moving upon. And we can actually kind of warp it a little bit because, you know, you know, when you think about ghosts from um, Scooby-Doo, they kind of sway up and down, right? They don't, they don't, they're not so swift like this one in the straight line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to up here to my toolbox, and you're going to see this one um, tool. It's called a pen tool. It looks like kind of an old calligraphy pen. I'm going to click and hold and go down to what's called the convert vertex tool. So this lets me manipulate a path. Um, so I'm going to select it. And what I can do is click and drag on an anchor point, and it lets me um, either add, so it just let me add one. And when I click and drag, it's going to bring out these handlebars that I can pull and manipulate the path. So um, anytime I click on the path, it's going to make a new anchor point. And when I click, when I drag, it's going to let me manipulate um, the curve of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this really wavy. So it's not so straight. And then I'm going to um, select the space bar again to render. Now we're like, ooh, here it goes. And that's it for this one. So I'm going to go to composition, add to render queue, make sure it's named correctly, make sure it's exporting to the right place here, and then render. And we're done with this one.